completed between 1911 and 1934, the KRS, the very first big multi-purpose dam on the river Kaveri, was named after the fourth king of the princely state of Mysore, Maharaja Krishnaraja Jaya Chamarajendra Vodayar, during whose rule Sir M. Vishveshwaraya, popularly known as Sir M. V., as the chief engineer of Mysore, designed and got the dam built. It was time for Kaveri to present several new phases of development not seen earlier, apart from reaching deeper depths for mining. Mills and factories were now lit up. Sawmills and threshing machines were livelier. Crushing canes became faster. Gening cotton and extracting oil was less drudgery prone. Water could be heated and rice could be cooked by electrical power. The most visible difference, however, was in the cultivation of sugarcane, since this perennial crop required water throughout the year. The production jumped several fold. Sir M. V., therefore, advised the government of Mysore to establish a white sugar factory for utilizing the large sugarcane produce. And this is how Mysore Sugar Company came into being. Even today, the district of Mandya continues to be a leading producer of sugar. And because commercial crops like mulberry and other horticultural crops could now be cultivated, the state started receiving increased revenue. All the doubts over the KRS being a success were laid to rest. More so because the supply of power to the Kolar gold fields increased. And these were the six lines which brought 78 kV electricity at a frequency of 25 Hz to this receiving station here at Kolar gold fields. From Devan K. Sheshadri hydroelectric power station which is India's first large-scale hydropower station to this receiving station here at Kolar Gold Fields. Sir M. V. had estimated that the return on investments would be at least 3% per annum. As it turned out, the direct and indirect returns from the KRS project was 15% on investment, which was a crore and a half per year those times. The expenditure, initially thought wasteful, was giving more than handsome returns now. Apart from irrigation design, KRS is also unique for its flood control system. These distinctive roundish structures that you see attached with the dam are the wells which work in conjunction with the automatic gates. These special wells are noticed very easily. But what is normally hidden from the eyes are its automatic gates. Because they are installed under the dam, it takes a little effort and some risk too to reach the place where the automatic gates are located. The dam uses 171 gates of which 48 numbers of automatic sluice gates are the ones invented by Sir M. V. All the 48 automatic gates are made of cast iron and were produced at Mysore Iron and Steel Works, Badravati. 
each one of these gates weigh over 10 tons. Wonder how they slide up and down automatically. And this is how it exactly works. When the water level in the lake reaches the maximum permissible level, water rushes into the well and the float rises up. The balance weight descends down and all the eight gates are pulled up. The sluice vents then begin to discharge. When the reservoir level falls, the wells get emptied, the balance weight then comes up and the gates descend and discharge is stopped. A complete novelty then, these gates have been copied all over the world including the Panama Canal. So MV's contributions also included a range of other activities which had a direct bearing on the development and modernization of the country.